Hello, IB History Scholars. It's Mr. Newcomb. We're getting set to start week seven of distant learning. To kick off, I want to take care of some housekeeping items. The assignment, Origins Tactics and Organizations, is due today, Friday, May 8th. So let's get it done and submit it. Secondly, over the weekend, I will be updating the grade. So if you're missing any assignments, let's turn them in. So over the past several weeks, we've been studying the Civil Rights Movement, breaking it down into case studies. The current case study is focusing on African Americans. To give a little historical context, though, to the Civil Rights Movement in regards to African Americans, I want to focus on the erosion of African American freedoms. Economic gains uh, seem to be limited. There was a development of the Jim Crow laws in uh, those 11 ex-Confederate states, but you can also find Jim Crow type laws in other U.S. states as well. And we're going to call this de jure segregation, legal segregation. The disenfranchisement of black voters is still continuing, and the establishment of social segregation is occurring. Uh, in a number of states as well. And we're going to call that de facto, which is segregation by tradition or by custom. There, This is a very uncertain time period, so fear is a part of it. You have terrorist groups like the Ku Klux Klan that has seen a resurgence in their numbers, and incidences like lynchings has occurred in the United States. The federal government seems to be indifferent lacking the political will to take on these issues, and African Americans are beginning to respond. Some of these responses will look like uh, migration, and we'll call it the Great Migration, simply leaving the South, going to northern cities or western cities. Political protest is also occurring, and uh, some are engaging in accommodation, trying to navigate and find their way uh, through this difficult time. Your assignment, Origins, Tactics, and Organizations, I want to focus on a couple highlights uh, in regards to that assignment. One of the highlights is an increasing sense of community. Self-help ideology is emerging, and that is associated with individuals like Marcus Garvey and Booker T. Washington, as well as, as, well as an emergence of black activism associated by uh, with individuals like William Du Bois, a group known as the Talented Tenth, as well as with uh, black newspapers, focusing on uh, the stories that the mainstream newspapers are just simply avoiding. So when we look at the situation uh, in the 1930s and 1940s, uh, the other highlight is, uh, or the other highlights is that there's this emerging black consciousness, new generations are focusing on um, greater advocacy. Black activism and tactics is emerging out of organizations like the NAACP and CORE. And there is a push to get the federal government to be more involved. And so with that, your next assignment is gonna focus on that. So the federal government will need to get involved in civil rights. Grassroots can work so far so much but the federal government is going to have to get involved as well and so what does that look like it looks like um, the legislative branch is going to have to pass some laws the executive branch is going to enforce these laws and the judicial branch is going to need to rule on um, some of the practices that has been occurring whether it was the de jure or de facto segregation so the first activity here in regards to that is going to be called the U.S. Supreme Court and Legal Challenges. And this activity can be found in the Week 7 folder. Detail assignment expectations are posted with it. Uh, however, you are going to need to Google the various court cases for uh, the appropriate information. The finished product is going to be in a form of a graphic organizer. And there are several big historical questions, so let's not forget about them. This is a solo activity and it will be due Friday, May 15th. So you got plenty of time for success with that. If you have any questions, concerns about this assignment or any of the assignments, please reach out, send me a note, send me a message. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, take care.